Look at the development at the APC, the leadership crisis and other sundry issues. We're joined by public affairs analyst Alester Wilkers. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning and nice to have you. Pleasure to have you too. Now, the NWC has been uh, dismantled. What's your take? Did you get my question? I said the NWC has been dismantled. What's your take on the crisis? A, part, a party is saying they are, they, I mean, members of the NWC say they are not accepting that decision. What's your take on the issues around this? Well, at some point, uh, when there are conflicting issues, there needs to be a break. And uh, the dissolution of the NWC, for me, it's a very good break for the party to start afresh. Because if you look at it, the current NWC has been so polarized to the point that uh, there is no longer, the, the, it's like saying the center can no longer hold. It's even where you have multiple people claiming uh, headship of the NWC, which, which was occasioned by the court order on the, the chairman, Adam Zoshimon. You can see how a leader's absence can destabilize the whole system. So for me, the, the resolution passed at the last meeting should be like a break from which everybody will sit back and uh, reassess the party and know how to move forward. But there is also the issue of legality. Do you expect to see more litigation? Because not everybody is satisfied with the decision um, of the Gaidam and President Buhari's uh, meeting yesterday. The problem is uh, the party should be supreme. The unfortunate thing we have about this, our uh, fourth republic, is the fact that uh, a lot of people do not see the supremacy of the party. Uh, if at some point a party decided to now reorganize itself, it behoves the members to, to, to stagger along. Alternatively, uh, it is to destroy the party. Because right now, what has been done is to say every party stay back. Let us start afresh. Uh, for me, I don't think six months is, uh, is too long for anybody not, not to want to that loves his party and that loves democracy will not want to sit back and they reassess everything and move forward. It has happened in the PDP where they were not able to hold a formidable convention and everybody has, and at some point, despite all their shortcomings, they had to come, they had to take a far-reaching decision. And for me, I think this particular one seems to be a, 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 a good for all parties. Because really, I, I do not know the status quo of the chairman, Dr. Simone, since after the, the appeal court uh, judgment that uh, upheld the lower court judgment. I don't know if he went to the Supreme Court to vacate the order or anything, but if everybody, at this point, it goes on everybody to put the party above personal interest and let's see how the party can be salvaged within the next six months. How um, um, settled are you with the decision uh, by the uh, Gaidam led um, committee? He initially, when he came on, this um, cancelled the primary election that was held in a do state. Uh, but now they say that the decision has been made to ratify all that had to do with that uh, process. Um, are you satisfied? I, I don't know how uh, Gadom become the acting chairman. Because from the, uh, from the hierarchy, Gadom is supposed to be the deputy national, uh, deputy national secretary, national deputy secretary of the party. Uh, and that put him tank of the, of, the, of the party hierarchy. Now, where the chairman is not available, the deputy chairman from his zone will take over. And then that continues. Maybe if the deputy chairman from his zone is not available, then I think I don't know if it is supposed to be the deputy chairman not in the other zone that should take over. But that be the case. Um, unfortunately, the deputy national chairman South was not available or was seemed to be incapacitated or something before what happened yesterday. And so I don't know how it gets up to Gadom to be the uh, chairman. But whatever be the case, it is not a Gadom decision now. I think it is a it should be a collective decision. I don't know the, how broad the attendance of that meeting was. But if the president, being the leader of the party, had to step in, you know, we have always been the president not, not speaking out, even the issue concerning his party. If he had to wake up now and step in and say, let every party 
be uh, uh, I mean hands off from the of the party and let I get I think it's the best decision. And again, rectify what happened in those state is also a plus for whatever thing that the other party has done. Because Gado came up and was spitting fire with respect to a due election. And which for me, I don't know if politicians behave more like kids than, than the adults that they're supposed to be. You know, you've not taken up power, and you're talking of how to go and bring back a, 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 a basic care and they to conduct a new primary and all whatnot. That for me is childish. It's a premeditated act. That means there's something else that's happened that others are not aware of. So I for me, at this point, at this point that the president has intervened, it behoves on all faithful party members to rally around and see how they can resolve all the crises. And moreover, removing every case, every case that is in any court to be discontinued, which is part of the solution. I think that will help the party to, to do you see? Do you see all parties accepting that verdict? Um, especially when we know that um, the, the president, okay, I, I missed my thought, the president initially kept quiet, like you said, and then now he has accepted that the law is on Gaidon's side. Again, there is a, a court ruling which the uh, ETA, Mr. ETA-led uh, National Working Committee was putting forward, saying that his membership of the party has been um, nullified. He's no longer a member of the party, so he cannot parade himself as uh, the national acting national chairman of the party. When you look at that, and then you look at the dissatisfaction, how do you see this new um, convention committee uh, that has been set up to, you know, manage the situation will be able to work when these people are not even acknowledging that the next meeting that was held was legal? Well, if the president had to step in, I think there's, there's, there's morality and legality at some point. Morality and legality must come to play. Uh, like I said, uh, I, I have not really gone through, or uh, I did not uh, take time to, to flip through the APC constitution to know why, how the president arrived at that decision that uh, the Guardian factor, factor was, uh, a faction was uh, okay. But I don't know. If, for what you have read from the, from the media and whatever is, is to go by, the Guardian has even had uh, lesser members in his faction than the ETA, ETA members uh, 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 faction. But whatever be the case, at this point, there is what they call a total cleanup, uh, which is good for the party. Both the Gadon group, they've lost out. Both the Etan group, they've lost out. So everybody now is at status quo. It, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's on a flat base. I do not know where the uh, Ashwaju is, 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 is in, in this matter, being the part, under party leader. He's he, both himself and the president are the party leaders. So but it takes them to enter, everybody to enter into a room. But uh, 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 let, let me interject quickly so you, you, the, your train of thought follows. The Tinubu um, uh, issue was raised by some journalists uh, to the uh, new uh, committee chair. And he said that nobody is being targeted. Um, could you put to rest maybe the speculation that they're trying to whittle down the power of the national leader of the APC? Well, the, the press can always speculate. The, 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 the unfortunate we have in this press, in the press, is speculation without fact. And they whip up a lot of sentiment and create a lot of uncertainty. Uh, yes, the press is supposed to investigate. Okay, I think we're having a little issue with that. Can you hear me? Mr. Wilkers, can you hear me? All right. Um, I'm afraid we have to let it end. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now, Mr. Wilkins? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, okay. Perfect. So continue your thoughts. We missed yeah, out a bit is, on what you were saying. What I'm saying is the press can speculate. We have a very, very speculative press in this country. and made worse by social media. People sit in their houses and speculate and come up with uh, speculating things, things that do not have foundation. I expect that if the press is going to make, give the public any information, it should be well researched and investigated, and then you give us a accurate, authentic, and source-based source information. That is where it can be verified that they want to whittle down the part of Tinibu or anybody. I don't want to, those can be speculation, I don't want to rely on that. I right. believe that uh, Ashwaju and the president has a good relationship. And so both of them as party leaders with other party elders can come together in one room and have a roundtable discussion and get this issue sorted out. It is good for APC that at this point, let all parties hold a break and let the convention committee that has just six months 
able to support to six last six months to walk along and get a better uh, uh, neck for the uh, uh, NWC for the for the party because really the party cannot remain fighting itself while the bigger enemy is out there reaping from its uh, from from its internal wrangling. I think it's better for the party to move on. There's so much to talk about, but for time, so I'll just have to say thank you very much for your input this morning. I'm always available. Thank you for having me.